Hello, water signs. Welcome back to Meaningful Motivations with Tracy Erickson. And of course, if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Tracy Erickson and happy Halloween spooktacular. It is finally October when things get a little spooky around here, but not too spooky, of course. So we're doing it a little differently for the month of October. We will be using these three decks that you see here. The main message coming from the Halloween Oracle. We will get clarity using the Deviant Moon deck. And we'll get the advice for your water signs using the Queen of the Moon Oracle. But that's not all that is different this month. This month, I am also going to be doing three separate readings for each of the water signs. So the first reading will be for Cancer. The second reading is for Scorpio. And the third reading will be for Pisces. So I will be sure to put timestamps down in the detail box of this video. And I will place timestamps in the comment section down below as well. All right, you guys, don't forget to click like on this video right now. Do it before you forget. And if you're a viewer but not yet a subscriber, you can go ahead and click subscribe. And then if you would like to turn on the notifications bell, that way you can be notified each and every time I upload a new video. So let's go ahead and get started with Cancer. Hello to all of you Cancers out there. This is your general tarot reading for October 2023. Since it's a general tarot reading, remember to just take whatever parts of this reading that resonate with you. All right. So our main theme here, the central focus is the lamp. And this one says remembrance. All right. Let's see what else we have for you, Cancers. Over here, we have the zombie card, which says control. And we have the vampire card, says emotional intelligence. And then over here, you see the jack-o'-lantern card, which is representing protection. And the joy card, rejoicing in the present. This is great, Cancer. Okay, so with the lamp card being in the main area here, I feel like the light of your life is in remembrance of something or someone at this time, Cancer. So I feel as though this person could be on the spirit side as well in some cases because of the jack-o'-lantern you see in the background. Because uh, jack-o'-lanterns are used for spiritual protection. So this is also a sign that you are divinely protected at all times. And you have like ancestors and spirit, you know, people in spirit who are around you right now and probably all the time. All right, so over here we have zombie and vampire next to each other. So what I see there is, I feel like in some sense with the zombie card, sometimes it feels like in your life you're forcing control. So I feel like in this particular reading with that zombie card showing up where it did, I feel like some of you cancers out there, um, have been trying to control every little thing in the past to a point where it's like not even expressing itself properly because it's so controlled, right? So I feel like this this card representing what it is and now that we're in the lamp, the remembrance, I feel as though this is something from your past that you may actually be awakening to and then we have the vampire, emotional intelligence. So it's almost like in some way you're starting to see either you or someone else, how they've been draining to the life energy of someone around them, right? So either you're becoming aware of what it is in your life that you need to probably let go of because it's kind of like a parasite, like a vampire that will literally suck the life out of you if you let it. Have no fear though, because you do have the jack-o'-lantern there and it shows here. So, over on this side of the lamp, you see the jack-o'-lantern and joy. So, this is all about basically trying to be as present-minded as possible at all times, because that'll connect you with 
happiness and joy that you can find right now in the present moment. And with that being right next to the protection card, I feel like that's just another confirmation that you are so divinely protected that you really have nothing to worry about. Okay, so I feel like you're also growing in emotional intelligence because there is a full moon behind this vampire, right? So I feel like in some sense, your recognition of where you've been and now in the present moment, I do feel like you're starting to gain a level of emotional intelligence that you didn't have, especially probably regarding something from your past. Okay, Cancer, I'm going to shuffle the Deviant Moon deck now, and we'll get a little clarity for this reading for all you Cancers. Okay, so we have the Page of Pentacles. I feel like as you kind of settle into each and every present moment, you're going to find that you're going to have some kind of new interest in your life. We have the Ace of Pentacles being reversed, though, as well. So with this particular Ace of Pentacles, it's not like the normal Ace of Pentacles. This one is being presented by a dragon. Um, but this one's reversed. So... I feel like you're kind of letting go as far as as far as where you want to place your attention here in the world. You're kind of letting go a little bit of like maybe materialism, letting go of some of that that used to exist, kind of like the egoic lower self stuff. And you're actually um, in an attempt to try something new. You may be changing your, you know, your actual focus in the physical world. We also have the Nine of Pentacles. This is reversed. I do feel like this is leaving me like a feeling, like a sense of impatience, like you're being impatient about something. So it's a reminder to kind of be in the present moment during those times. Uh, because whenever you're impatient, it's because you're anxious about what you expect in the future, right? So it's a reminder from spirit to just, whenever you're feeling like that or feeling like in some way, you know, like, you, it's definitely a feeling of impatience, though. So I guess more importantly, when you're feeling like that, then you need to connect with the present moment and find joy in that exact present moment. And we have the Hermit card. I feel like it's, in some ways, Cancer, you may be a little afraid to be alone at times. But, again, this is, it's another number nine as well. So I feel like that's a completed... Um, cycle in your life. I feel like you're starting to be more comfortable being alone now. Not like in a bad way either. This is a good thing. Like, I feel like where you may have had negative feelings whenever you'd be left alone for some reason, probably to do with something in your past. It's almost like you would focus on that thought too much at times. I feel like that's kind of changing. I feel like you're becoming more and more comfortable in your skin. Like, being alone again even though at times you could be haunted by you know memories or your own mind all right cancer i am going to shuffle the queen of the moon oracle and we'll just go ahead and see what advice the queen of the moon has for us today it says the void this is the dark moon and again, she lies alone in the darkness of the new moon, the void, right? And it's a number one. I feel like this card is saying it's okay if you don't feel like putting yourself out there in the month of October. It's okay if finding joy in your present moment is just being alone with yourself. Because it may be exactly what you need to put you on a new path to put your focus on something new using this newfound emotional intelligence that's been growing within you. All right, I'm going to shuffle the Halloween Oracle one more time. 
And I'm just going to pull three cards as a final message for you Cancers for October 2023. One more shuffle. All right. So final message for Cancer. We have the underworld where all things pause and begin again. How beautiful is that, that your final message is reminding you that this divine alone time, it's a good pause. It's like taking a rest, you know, coming back to yourself so that you can put yourself out there again. It's almost like a good way to recharge. We also have the ghost, which is regret. So again, this is about um, maybe taking a pause and reflecting on those things that you regret from the past that we were talking about. So if something's been making you feel haunted by a feeling from the past, it's just time to look at that, to actually face it during this pause, during this time to yourself. All right? Because I feel like you'll be able to find joy in that time. Because you'll be able to almost take yourself off of those negative experiences and put it back on those positive ones. Because there are both. And the last one here is the school of stars. It says infinite possibilities. So as you take this time to yourself to reflect on the past so that you can find joy in the present. Once you do this, once you, ref- you know, give yourself time to reflect and to understand where you've been and where you're going, you're going to be opened up to this present moment and all these new infinite possibilities. So this is going to be a very productive month for you, Cancer, as long as you give yourself time and give yourself time to put your awareness into the past to reflect on it. So that you can move on to the better future. Don't forget to click the like button if you like this video, Cancer. And if this reading resonates with you, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending your time with me. I love you. And it's time to move on to Scorpio. Hello, Scorpio. This is your general tarot reading for October 2023. Since it's a general reading, just take whatever parts of this reading that resonate with you, Scorpio. All right. So it looks like the, you know, the central theme here is the heart. Happiness in our hearts and home. So in October, in some way, Scorpio, you are definitely connecting to the sense of home, of family, of gathering together, that kind of thing. All right, over here we have the witch. It says the earthly weaver of the world. And that is next to Skull of Flowers. So creating through the ashes. So Scorpio, I really feel like in some way you're kind of like building this perfect little home right now. I don't know if you're like decorating or just creating a sacred space for yourself in some way, but you're definitely kind of mixing your creativity right now with something that you're trying to create. And of course, with the hearth card, I feel like you're also bringing this energy into the home in the month of October. Over here, we have trick or treat. It says mischief and play and werewolf. So it says here, exploring wildness. So I do feel like with the creativity and in all this, you're having a little bit of fun in the month of October. And in some ways, you might even be getting a little wild. But you should also be careful. The werewolf could also be a little bit of a warning. Same with the trick or treat. You know, this could be a trick or a treat to your own self um, when you explore your own wildness. So let's just say, don't get too out of control, okay, Scorpio, while you explore your wild side in the month of October. 
All right, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle the Deviant Moon deck for you, Scorpios, so that I can get a little clarity on this reading for you for October 2023. Scorpio. Let's see. So we're going to start here. It looks like we have the six of pentacles and this one came in reversed for the clarity in this reading. All right. So I do feel like, well, let's just get the rest of the clarity first. We're going to pull four of these. All right. We have the sun card see, representing happiness here. We have the two of wands. And we have the Fool card reversed, okay? All right. All right, Scorpio. I see in some way that the tables are kind of turning in a certain situation in your life. I don't know if, like, um, it could be that you're getting more of an increase of abundance in the month of October, leading to this happiness represented by the sun, right? Um, so I do feel like something is definitely changing in terms of what you give and what you get. And it could be something you've been working towards. Maybe you didn't feel like you were getting much out of it, but something's changing because you have the sun showing up here. Okay. And I feel like with that two of wands and that one is reversed. I feel like it's not necessarily happening in the future. It could be happening right now, you know, right now at the beginning of October. Uh, we also have the Fool card. This one is reversed. And I just feel like there's, it's not necessarily a time that you need to think about, you know, which direction you want to go and stuff like that. I feel like right now you're just following your happiness. You're not making any plans. You're not looking to the future in any way. It's like, you're following what makes you happy in this moment right now. You're exploring your wildness, right? You're using creativity and you're just weaving your world as you go along. And again, happiness in our hearts and homes. I feel like what you're doing right now is you're just following happiness. The sun is the only card that was upright in our clarity here. But I feel like it's saying it's because that is what you're following at this time in the month of October, Scorpio. What a great thing. Now I'm going to go ahead and shuffle this Queen of the Moon Oracle. We're going to see what advice it has for you Scorpios. And right away we got three cards actually to flip over. Everyone else has only gotten one. Alright, so first we have Growth. I feel like this kind of feeling of following your happiness and weaving your own world. It's taken some time for you to cultivate this in yourself, but it's definitely paying off. Then we have purity and masculine. So I feel like with the purity card, there's a lot of innocence in your creations right now. Again, you're just following happiness, blindly following. There's this veil covering her face, right? And the masculine is all about action. It's about taking action. This is about, you know, whereas the feminine energy is receptive. The masculine is aggressive. It's action oriented. So all of the actions that you're taking at this time are definitely in line with the sun, the hearth, keeping yourself happy and just putting yourself towards what is going to make you feel at home and feel good, Scorpio. Now I'm just going to shuffle that Halloween Oracle one more time and I'm going to pull three cards as a final message for Scorpio for October 2023. All right, Scorpio, one more shuffle. All right, so your final message for October. We have the zombie card, which is all about, like, control. Let's see what else we get. Then we have the Skull of Stars, Infinite Possibilities. And we have sweetness and synergy. Oh my gosh, this is basically like the sun card, in my opinion. All right, uh, that 
this barn brack bread is like a sweet bread that's like for luck, right? So this is like luck, abundance, sweetness. All right. So basically, I feel like with the zombie card and then it says control, I feel like in certain ways, um, how do I want to explain this card right now? Because Scorpio, I feel like for your reading, this zombie card is really saying it's time for you to control your own life, right? It's time for you to direct where you want to go. Not these strange impulses. Uh-huh. Like, even though you're exploring your own wildness in the month of October, I feel like in a certain way, you're also gaining control over kind of like mindless, brainless, zombie-ish parts of yourself. So maybe you're gaining control over some kind of habit or addiction or something. You're letting go of something that is trying to control you and you're going to take over control. You're going to see infinite possibilities from the happiness you're going to get from that, right? And all in all, it's going to lead to what you wanted in the first place, which is this delicious, lucky, sweet bread. So we have the hearth, the sun, and the barm brack. So this is a great reading, Scorpio. Just keep following this creative impulse inside of you that is guiding you to just follow your heart and do what makes you happy. All right, Scorpio. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click the like button. Leave me a comment down below if this reading resonates with you. Thank you all so much for watching and spending your time with me. I love you. And it's time to move on to Pisces. Hello, Pisces. This is your general tarot reading for October 2023. Since it's a general tarot reading, of course, just take whatever parts of this reading that resonate with you. Okay. So Pisces, it looks like with the apple card being the main central focus here, it's definitely like, since it says risk and reward, it's basically a warning that something that looks juicy and delicious, maybe you need to take a little closer look at to find out if there's a risk involved in it, right? And same, you know, if something looks really risky, maybe it could actually be rewarding. What this card is asking is for you to take a closer look and to weigh the pros and cons in a certain decision you're making because you want to see, is the juice worth the squeeze? Is the risk worth the reward? Over here, we have the veil and the black cat card. So the veil says the future and then black cat is fortune meets opportunity. So I do feel like this risk slash reward thing that you have to really kind of focus on has to do with something that you've been wanting to create something that in the past you'd be like, I want to do this in the future, right? You've been possibly, it's a goal that you've had because then we have fortune meets opportunity with the black cat card. I feel like things are starting to shift and fall into place. And now you're wondering, is this all worth it? Is it really what I wanted? Okay. Then over here we have the winter card, the sacredness of pausing and the skull of light, you guys. So this is telling you that with the winter card, the sacredness of the pause, that card is saying it's okay for you not to take any action right now. You know, as you kind of weigh these pros and cons, it's okay for you to take time out and to just go within and to understand the risk and the reward. And to maybe even understand for yourself that you have already come this far. So you're already successful in some way. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, this time of pause for you to kind of, you know, weigh your options is going to be a good thing if you allow yourself the space to come to some kind of full understanding like that full moon. Because then we have this goal of light right next to that. It says illumination. So taking that pause, taking that time out, taking a divine break is exactly what you need right now, Pisces, for you to gain full illumination of what it is you really want as you weigh these pros and cons, these risks and rewards 
in the month of October. So, it's okay to not take much action in the form of, you know, your goals and what you want to create as far as the future for yourself. Because now is more of a time to pause and gain that illumination, that awareness. All right, Pisces, now I'm going to shuffle the Deviant Moon deck and get a little clarity on this reading for you guys. For Cancer, no, 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 this is not Cancer, this is for Pisces. So sorry, Pisces. (laughs) I almost called you Cancer Sign. All right, so this is for my Pisces for October 2023. One more shuffle, and I'll draw four of these cards for clarity. For Pisces. October 2023. We have Knight of Wands reverse. We have the Ten of Wands. The King of Swords. The Queen of Cups. Okay. Alright, you guys. With this Ten of Wands next to the Knight of Wands, I feel like At one point, you might have thought this is going to be so easy, breezy, like, basically you're riding in on someone else's back because it's so easy, but it's not, right? It's a big burden that you're carrying around this thing that you're thinking about. All right, so, but we have the King of Swords and the Queen of Cups on each side. I feel like you're still so emotionally involved in what it is you're doing and thinking about, as well as... Like, with this King of Swords over here, I feel like you've already, like, expressed to the world what you're doing. So, it kind of ties up your emotions in that as well. So, it's like, now you're like, oh, great. How can I do anything about it now? It's fine. It doesn't really matter. That's all I have to say, Pisces. Do what you want. Because it doesn't matter to anyone but you. Um, But basically, yeah. I feel like whatever this burden is, though, you can easily put it down. These sticks, I mean, just put them down if they're too much. Don't make yourself crazy over it, right? (laughs) Okay, Pisces, let me go ahead and shuffle the Queen of the Moon Oracle because I want to see what advice it has. Okay, well, we got the 22 Wisdom. This one popped out. And as you can see, she has this ladder. She had to climb up onto... A stack of books. She's reaching to the stars. I feel like where you've already been, because she's also in a boat, by the way, a boat in the clouds. I feel like where you've already been has given you a wealth of wisdom. For you to go ahead and reach for the stars in what you're doing, you have the wisdom necessary. You have the experience. But now is the time to really reach for the stars as far as making a decision. 22 here. It's a master number as well. But You need to make a decision basically like, is this a burden or not? Is the risk worth the reward? I feel like by the end of the month, you're going to know what you want to do. And or even if you're doing, you don't even do anything different. You're going to feel illuminated in some way. She's reaching for the stars. She's gaining awareness in something right under the illumination card. So Even if nothing actually changes in the um, outer world, like what you're doing, your inner sense of knowing is changing. That's what's changing. Your perception of what you're doing, at least, right? All right, Pisces, I'm going to shuffle the Halloween Oracle deck a few times because I want to get three more cards as a final message for you, Pisces, for October 2023. So let's see what the Halloween Oracle has for you, Pisces. Last shuffle. All right, Pisces. It looks like we have the witch, the earthly weaver of the world. This is definitely a card of what you're manifesting. That's what you've been thinking about. The Skull of Stars. We have infinite possibilities. I feel like you do have a lot that you want to create in the world. So, let's see what the last one is. We have Zombie Control. Okay. 
All right, Pisces, I feel like you definitely, okay, so here's the thing. You need to be the weaver of your own world, your own experience. You have to do what it is that's making you feel right. I know that there are infinite possibilities, definitely, but I'm sure there, there's something you'd rather do than something else, right? The control card here, though, is like, what part of you is doing this out of literal habitualness? What part of you is, um, how do I want to say it? Like a brainless zombie, you know? Something's making you like a brainless zombie in some way. That card's just saying it's time to take a little bit of control of those areas of your life where things are just kind of like on autopilot and there's no real thought involved. Because you are an earthly weaver of the world. You don't just walk around like a zombie, a brain dead zombie, right? So, like, I do feel like this pause is going to be very important in the month of October for you Pisces. So you can gain some type of awareness because you have the infinite possibilities, illumination and wisdom card. So I do feel like there's definitely something that you're creating or you want to create but right now, it might be a better time to just, to just be, so that you can then understand which direction you want to take, rather than being a brain dead zombie, walking in the same direction as every other day of your life, right? All right, Pisces, if you like this reading, don't forget to click the like button down below and leave me a comment letting me know if this reading resonates with you. And of course, if you're a viewer but not yet a subscriber, I would love for you to click subscribe down below. Once you have subscribed, you could turn on the notifications bell if you would like to be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending your time with me. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.